This presentation was created using a PowerPoint presentation and Screencast-O-Matic. Screencast-O-Matic allows users to record a screenshot of their computer while narrating it or setting the presentation to audio as well. I then uploaded the product onto YouTube and posted the link onto this wiki. This presentation is over educational theorist Egon Gothel Guba. It was difficult to find information on this theorist. Uh, biographical knowledge of his personal life and his road to becoming such an influential member of the educational research community was scant. Little could be found about him personally and about his actual career. Upon his death in 2008, there were do dozens of tributes and homages written in his honor that included some, some details about his personal life and about his career. Many of them contained personal anecdotes about the quality of his character and knowledge that students experienced um, under his instruction. In addition, his, his literary works are numerous and easily discoverable. Egon Gothel Guba was born in 1924 and passed away in 2008. He was born in Chicago, Illinois on March 1, 1924. He began undergraduate studies in physics and engineering at Valparaiso University. He then joined the United States Army during World War II before graduating. He served in the 381st Combat Engineers Battalion and returned to the States in 1946. He completed undergraduate studies um, and graduated shortly after he returned from World War II in 1946. He then completed his Master's of Education at the University of Kansas and his Doctorate in Statistics and Measurement from the University of Chicago, where he also taught for four years. He continued his teaching career at the University of Missouri-Kansas City and at Ohio State University, and eventually spent 25 years and retired from teaching at the University of Indiana Bloomington. He died on March 26, 2008. He made many contributions to educational research. One of them was the monumental role he played in the shift from a mostly psychometric approach of inquiry in education to one which also included qualitative research methods and techniques. Psychometric approach was concerned with theory, technique, and educational measurement, particularly the creation and use of instruments such as questionnaires, tests, and personality assessments. On the other hand, qualitative research uses systematic observations to reach understanding. It's not concerned with manipulating variables, but rather uses open-ended, less defined questions. He also bridged the gap between qualitative research and the hard sciences in education by popularizing the term naturalistic inquiry. In other words, qualitative research is naturalistic inquiry because it studies a group in its natural environment. Naturalistic inquiry is thus contrasted to experimental research where the investigator attempts to completely control the conditions of the study. He also encouraged and aided in qualitative research in many professional organizations, which in turn proved its legitimacy and effectiveness. He popularized the use of constructivism in education and other social sciences. Constructivism is an educational philosophy that posits that knowledge is not passively received, rather it is actively built up or constructed by students as they connect prior knowledge and past experiences with new information and experiences. Egon Guba was responsible for many literary contributions to this field of education and research, many of which he collaborated on with his wife, Yvonne Lincoln. Some of his most popular works are Naturalistic Inquiry, The Paradigm Dialogue, Fourth Generation Evaluation, The Constructivist Credo, and Effective Evaluation, Improving the Usefulness of Evaluation Results through responsive and naturalistic approaches. Naturalistic Inquiry is published in 1985 with Yvonne Lincoln. The contribution of this text cannot be overstated. The crisp, incisive, and brilliant critique of positivism began the earthquake-like revolution in educational research which resulted in the growth of qualitative research methods in education. The Paradigm Dialogue was published in 1990 in this text, Egon goes, goes on to call for dialogue and debate on underlying principles of research and discusses the challenge of, challenges of post-positivism, critical theory, and constructivism. 
Fourth Generation Evaluation was published in 1989 with his wife, Yvonne Lincoln. This text is a must-read for all evaluators as it explains clearly the ethical, epistemological, and methodological arguments for constructivist approaches to evaluation. This text is probably the best argument in favor of constructivist approaches to evaluation to date. It also clearly explains the failures of positivism. And effective evaluation, improving the usefulness of evaluation results through responsive and naturalistic approaches, published in 1992. One of the clearest and most forceful statements about the so-called naturalistic approaches to evaluation. The authors have developed a model that provides both theoretically sound and highly practical advice to evaluators and consumers of evaluation information. And his most recent, recently published work, The Constructivist Credo, 2011, with Yvonne Lincoln. Although this work was published after his death, meant several years after his death, his wife still attributes much of the research and information that she produces to her late husband, Egon Guba. The image at the right is only a fraction of the literature Guba wrote or contributed to. The following works were produced just during the 1950s and 60s. Many of these texts are still used today within educational research and evaluation. His philosophy. It was the position of Egon Guba that the naturalistic paradigm was more useful and is more useful than the scientific paradigm for all behavioral and social inquiry and certainly for responsive naturalistic evaluation. He also believed that it must be evident to the reader that accepting the naturalistic paradigm involves a good deal more than a simple accommodation in one's previous thinking. Accepting the naturalistic paradigm was a revolutionary move. Also, one of his basic philosophies was that experimental research was inferior because of its limitations to take into consideration behavioral context. Egon Guba was one of the founders of the Qualitative Research Special Interest Group of the American Educational Research Association, which is still active today. He was the author of numerous works dedicated to evaluative and qualitative research. And he also played a major role in the establishment and administrative oversight of the Evaluation Center of Western Michigan University, an organization which was founded in 1963 and committed to advancing the theory, practice, and utilization of evaluation through research, education, service, and leadership. He was a renowned expert in the field of qualitative research methodology and is still looked to today as one of the experts in this field. Finally, he was named Professor Emeritus of the University of Indiana at Bloomington.